Hi, I'm Dave Habib from Groundwire, here to demonstrate our Volunteers for Salesforce App Exchange product. When you install Volunteers for Salesforce, you'll get a new application in this application dropdown, and you'll see you have a few new tabs dealing with volunteer jobs. So here we have a, a list of jobs, and if we look at a specific job, you're able to specify a bunch of information about a job, things like uh, the skills that are needed for the job. We've got a, a rich text description that you can have with pictures in it. You can say whether you want this job displayed on your website. And you can also keep track of all of the volunteers who actually uh, sign up and complete working on a specific job and how many hours they've worked. A volunteer job can have optionally shifts if you need to track specific people working at a specific time. So let's go ahead and look at a shift. Here we can see we've got a shift that uh, starts in the morning for three hours and we filled in that we'd like 10 volunteers on this job. Below the shift we see the actual volunteer hour records and these are the custom objects that track the people who are actually signing up for your jobs and uh, completing the work. We've got this nice interface to allow you to modify uh, multiple contact records at the, at the same time. So here we see currently assigned on this shift, we've got about 10 people who've all signed up from the web. And if you were the volunteer manager, you could then uh, confirm them, the, the people who you feel you want to have or you could automatically have it do that and as you see here the systems automatically kept track of now we've got two confirmed volunteers and we still only need eight eight more later when you've actually completed uh, the vol volunteer event you can come back here and quickly update all the people who have actually uh, completed the job and how many hours they worked um, as well as keeping track of like who didn't show up. And the system will automatically uh, record all that information for each contact to keep track of all the hours they work for your organization. One nice utility we've added is the ability to uh, send a mass email to all of the volunteers on a specific shift or job. You're able to uh, search for a specific status and pick a, a template that you can design um, to send everyone on this job or on this shift with this status uh, uh, an email message and uh, optionally record that message on their contact record. So let's go ahead and take a look at a contact to see what's the volunteer information that we store there. So you scroll down the normal contact layout and you can see we've got information about the last time they've signed up, how many hours they've worked for your organization, uh, their availability and skills uh, and notes. Further down you'll see we've got a volunteer hours related list that shows all of the different jobs that that uh, contact has worked for uh, and completed for you. Volunteer jobs are always stored underneath a campaign and this allows us to keep track of all sorts of summary data for all the jobs uh, for a given event on a campaign. So if we look at one of our volunteer campaigns, you can see that we're able to keep track of all the volunteers and their hours and shifts and how many people you still need, that type of information. Another nice utility we have is a wizard that allows you to create a new cam volunteer campaign and to copy um, over all of the uh, volunteer jobs and shifts from an existing campaign and even optionally the hours. So this can be very helpful if you are uh, let's say having the same jobs on a regular basis like every week you've got the same set of jobs you can clone those jobs uh, and we'll correctly set up a new set of jobs and shifts with the new date you specify for the following week or month. Uh, and you can even tell us to copy over all of the uh, volunteers who are currently signed up, which works well for some organizations who have uh, frequently the same people volunteering for the same jobs. Volunteers for Salesforce also includes a calendar view that lets you see all the jobs and shifts uh, for a given month or a week or day on your calendar. And what's nice is it also lets you see quickly uh, which jobs are filled and which need more people. 
And if you're looking in closer, you can even, there's a link to a, a nice report that gives you a roster of all the people who are signed up that you could use for, let's say, a check-in sheet. This calendar can also be hosted on your website to allow people to see the jobs you have and uh, sign up for them. I'll show that in a minute. First, let's take a look at our, we include a dashboard, gives you some nice metrics, listing of, uh, let's say, people who have worked, uh, volunteered the most for you. Uh, we've got a full set of reports, uh, over 20 of them, dealing from everything from keeping track of, you know, how many volunteers signed up for this job to the hours people have worked over a given period to uh, a list of all the hours by campaigns, that type of thing. Now I'd like to show you some of the web pages that Volunteers for Salesforce provides that you can host in your website. We've got three different pages, one for just allowing people to sign up to tell you that they're interested in volunteering for your organization but not for a specific job. So here you can see uh, a website that's not Salesforce and inside of this page is a form that actually just starts right here which uh, Volunteers for Salesforce is providing. Um, you can see you know it's contact information and the, the list of skills and availability is something that you can customize for whatever makes sense for your organization. And then uh, people can submit and sign up and we will do the work to uh, create either leads or contacts in your Salesforce database. And also we'll uh, do matching to existing contacts if they're first name, last name, and email match. The other form we provide is one that allows people to sign up for a specific job. So here's another web page in this website and if we scroll down in this area here we start a job listing and so we support like uh, jobs that don't have specific shifts as well as uh, multiple jobs with shifts there's this one here's an example of a job that included some rich text information including uh, a, a link to a map um, shows you all the shifts and people are able to sign up fill in their information and you're able to customize the fields that you asked for on this signup form as well as the previous signup form I showed. The final thing that we've added is uh, hosting of our web page so, so that on your website you can show uh, a calendar view uh, which allows people to scroll around and see what's available for a, a given day. <laughs> And uh, they can also sign up from here. You'll see it takes them to the details about that specific job and the, the shifts that are open on that job. So the final thing is uh, we'd love to have you install Volunteers for Salesforce and give it a try. As of uh, December of 2011, we've got over 400 uh, nonprofits who have installed and are using Volunteers for Salesforce. And on our uh, About tab, uh, we've got information on how you can get all the documentation and enter any issues you run into, uh, as well as give a friendly donation to GroundWire. Thanks a lot. Bye.